Hi, this is Fred at GetMeCoding.com and we're going to go through some basics working with Scratch. So when you come in, you're going to see the environment here and here's Scratch. Scratch the cat. So if you're a fan of cats, that's great. If you're not a fan of cats, maybe we'll take care of that here in a second. Scratch is a sprite. Now, a sprite is really nothing more than a graphic. What's a graphic? Well, a graphic is a picture. So when we place them here, we're working within our environment and he's floating around here on the white space. If you come down here to the bottom area here, you could see that there is an area where you could do a new backdrop. So when you look at that, you could choose a backdrop from the library. You could actually hover over each of these and they'll pop up something. So you could paint a new backdrop. When you paint a new backdrop, that means you get to you know make something of your own. Or you can actually take a picture um, of your real world or something else that you might have built and you could actually upload that and make that the backdrop So you could do that with both of these here So I'm gonna click on make the backdrop or, or select a backdrop here Scratch comes with a whole bunch of really cool looking backdrops For whatever you're doing if you're doing a game if you're doing a story and whatever I, I'm a really big fan of the beach So I like this beach Malibu one and there's one that's of a boardwalk. So I'm a I grew up walking on the boardwalk. Uh, let's see, did I go past it already? I think I did. Uh, I don't see it. There it is, boardwalk. I'll pick that one. So I click OK, and all of a sudden, there it is. Scratch is not floating in white space anymore, which is good. And he is now on the boardwalk. So one of the things we get to see now is he is a sprite. And sprites are what we control. Sprites are what we program. So if you think about your favorite video game, well, that's what you do. So here we go. We got a sprite and now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to the scripts and I'm going to basically try a few things. If you look at here, you can move, you could turn, you could point and all, all these great things. So to make this work, we're always going to start with control or an event. I like to start with an event. So when we click this green flag, something's going to happen. I'm going to click on a motion. We'll make them turn. Now it says 15 degrees. What is a degree? If you think of a clock and you think of noon, then 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., and then noon again, or 12 p.m. or 12 a.m., you're moving around a circle. And that's what this is. A degree is like a minute in a clock. So if you start at 12 o'clock and you start to tick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's all the way up to 15. That's a degree. So we can actually have them keep on turning. So we'll say, we'll make them turn 15 degrees and then turn back. Now, a lot of this is being pulled from the workbook. You could also download from our site, getmecoding.com, or go out to the scratch or the code.org site. So we have these in here and we also have some other things we could do. We can glide, we can move. So we'll put a move in there. That's gonna make a move 10 steps. Now that might sound like a lot, but it's really not that far. It's really small when you're talking about this, this sprite and sprites are made up of what are called pixels. Pixels are the tiniest element making up a graphic, very small. Okay, so we can then do glide and it says glide one second to X, Y. What is X, Y? All right, now, if you're watching this and you've taken math, or if you're watching this and you're new to math, you may not know what X and Y is in either case. Okay, if you look here, we could see that there's an X and a Y, and the numbers keep on changing. X is the horizontal line, or plane as we call it, so it's, this flat line, that's X, the X axis. And then you have Y, Y runs up and down or the horizontal axis. So you have X and Y. The whole entire area here is known as an X, Y coordinate plane. So if I were really to go here and try to make X equal to zero and Y equal to zero, you're watching right here, okay? X and Y, oh, it's so hard, right? X Almost there, almost there, stay on target, stay on target. Uh, uh, I can't get, well, there it is, X is one and Y is one. X zero and Y zero is the center of the, of, the, of the stage right there, just so you know. So he's saying glide to at minus 124. Minus 124 for X is way over here. If I go past the zero, 
It's a plus, but you don't see the plus appear before the number. That's just, it's known as implied. All right, so y, if you go below the zero, it's a negative number, and if you go above the zero, it's a positive number. Really important concept when you're trying to control your, your animation for your sprite or how you're making it move. So this is making it move in certain directions. I'm gonna make it move positive. So I'm, I look at that, I could double click on the actual value here. You can make it any value you want. And I'm gonna make him glide to 50. Okay, so here we go, ready? Click on the green flag, and there he goes. He did a slight turn, very slight, and that's it. Now, I click on stop, and there we're still floating in space. Check out the other videos and how we can get him to move back from floating in space.